the prime minister uh-huh. like they have just amazing and incredible people in speaking there yeah yeah and um I, like uh, even sharmino Sh- bech and i spoke there as, uh, uh-huh. as well uh, so we had like a lot of pakistani speakers were there it was yeah. always inspirational always speaking of speaking of inspirational um i i really wanted to ask you this so if you could invite three people to dinner at your house um three people from history who are not here with us today we used to play this game a lot in my family and even with my friends yeah. um so who would they be you could invite three women also if you want uh i would love to invite plato because i recently you know read his <laughs> I, i studied his book the republic yeah. so i would be very curious to know about his books and why did he choose socrates as the narrator and you know how did sort of his writing progress through time and mm-hmm. sort of what is his opinion and what was i don't know socrates opinions and it's just, yeah. it would be good to have a conversation with him about the republic and how you know many people believe that it is he was talking about a totalitarian sort of state and you know to just hear more about his views how he was so much in support of censorship and propaganda and stuff like that oh, and really and, interesting Okay kind of he believed that you know everything has to be in order and for the sake of yeah. order and for the sake of creating justice you can uh sort of uh it's called the noble lie so you lie to people mm-hmm. uh that these they're naturally born into these roles so the producers will remain producers the rulers right. are rulers and one uh, of the, the philosophers are supposed to be is that he's quite elitist in that way right oh uh, yeah yeah very yeah. much but he also believed in like education so mm-hmm. his view was that you need to have like i like you know to become a philosopher he believes you need to i don't know around like 50 years of learning so 50. 10 years of maths and yeah it's it's fascinating i i don't think i should talk too much about this so the other two people i would like to invite yeah. um i i was i always loved um isaac newton uh-huh. it was always just my it was sort of a childhood thing when you just you know, when you were learning about the laws of motion and you want to know uh, you 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 are really fascinated by it and how they or coming up coming up with these incredible uh, observations and they were noticing these physical laws and principles i don't know yeah. maybe it's debated maybe it does not apply anymore i don't know what's the update about physics <laughs> uh, and um, i think regarding women there is just so many i would love to meet and um benazir bhutto benazir bhutto for sure association between you and plato and benazir bhutto and isaac newton but also i think uh, fatima jina i think her you know we call her madri millat yeah. and uh, we all uh, uh, you know appreciate her and celebrate her but there's there's much more about her you know she she was part of politics and totally she yeah. did, she did not win elections and like what was yeah. what were politics like then at that time and why did she not succeed was it mm-hmm. her, was it was it her gender what there are the reasons was there other reasons the, yes exactly. yeah you know the the political dynamics that we have yeah. so it's and which continues till now so i think it's just incredible mm-hmm. to see what what her struggle and what her fight was like so i'd love to meet her as well so that's that's very cool um okay fatma jinnah uh, benazir plato and so you're you're based you're quite an old soul then uh, yeah sort of i also listen to old sort of music as well yeah. like the 50s and 60s um yeah all those old songs desi gaane ya angrezi bhi no angrezi bhi but angrezi songs have to be sort of good like sort of the latest you know rap songs they are quite funny so i, I like listening to them you like rap uh, but other than that is listening to mohammad rafi um kishor kumar and all those mm-hmm. you know legendary singers yeah. and uh, nusrat fateh khan's you know beautiful qawalis uh and so i'm, I'm sort of a big fan of sufi shayari uh, sufi like qawali as well so it's Ha, have Anything you ever seen like it like have you ever gone to a kawali cuz you obviously been in england for so long udhar mauka mila hai koi kisi mehfil mein baithne ka um ha like uh, we we had these kawali events in college to so college mein ek do dafa hue hain so it was just very nice but it's very loud though like it's it's <laughs> it's incredibly loud yeah. but you enjoy it you have fun and you are with your friends uh just you know singing the mother muskalandar and oh, it's incredible yeah, totally totally yeah. i'm sure i'm sure ali my brother who's a big fan of you would would love to sing the madam muskalandar because he often opens <laughs> concerts with that um yeah. 
so malala you graduated and you know this is such a such a amazing moment in your life because everything is now open for you right like the world is your oyster yeah. and you have a very natural path which is um you know you have your foundation you have all your education projects but is there anything else that's that's calling your name is there anything else that's you know um i i enjoy traveling a lot i um uh, i just love meeting people uh, i have met so many incredible girls and i love listening to their stories and they are always so inspiring but then i like to share their stories and then uh ensure that their voices reach those uh who often ignore them uh whether that's their political leaders or whether that's you know or leaders uh, globally that they need to hear their voices so i like uh, i love to hear hear their stories and then share them and we share that on malala funds platform yeah. as well exactly um So that's something that you want to continue doing, basically. Yeah, travel, but uh, you know we can't do that right now because yeah. of. Yeah. But like, uh, you, but COVID. like, you could have you could have a podcast, right? Uh, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. 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 You could you could have it with like your well, I was going to say your younger brother, but maybe he's maybe he's too young. Yeah, he's yeah. So I have, I have two, two brothers. brothers. Yeah, I have two brothers. One is sort of okay. He. uh we we argue a lot cuz he was born 2 years after me and we still fight to this day he's very annoying i don't know why but sort of he thinks it's just part of him now that that he has to annoy his sister um and ha meri shakal freeze ho gayi hai but i am un very much un Can you see me? Hello. Yeah, I think we're. I think I see you now. Okay, great. Sorry for that. Um, I don't know why I disconnected. See, hang on, I think. Yeah, there. Can you see me? 